I'm starting to experience any kind of natural state. Probably actually since the April uh, retreat. Mm -hmm. the, the, I started to, because I really felt the transmission on that, you know. But, but um, uh, 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 especially actually the, the, I've been doing the guided one, which is during the week. You know, I've been doing that, did that about maybe four times, the full run through. And you know, when you talk about, uh, when you go into the Adi Yoga, don't, um, you know, if you're in kind of fogginess or, or you know, sense of not being clear, you know, to use the pets and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and um, really kind of when I was sitting in that, I kind of had... Uh, you know, more uh, uh, feeling a kind of basic, you know, basic awareness or, or whatever. You know, it wasn't, you know, going into fantasy, thinking, planning, mm. and, um, <clears throat> you know, so so it's really very, very recent for me, that kind of feeling, really, you know. Um, and um, there, when we just did it there now, there was a little, I, I felt like it was a little side shift, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just a bit more, there was a bit more kind of um, uh, a, a, a kind of slight more feeling of natural joy and maybe a bit of golden light, light kind of just a shift to the side, you know. It mm -hmm. um, wasn't like huge, but it was kind of, um, it, it was significant. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Sounds great, Connor. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always wonderful to have a little bit of joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, do you know, I'll just mention it now because I was talking about it the other night at our Sangha. Mm -hmm. And recently, when I've been in... Um, <clears throat> doing the kind of open heart run through, right? When I'm in the chakra, uh, shouting the avams, you know? And when I'm on the, uh, you know, do, do the 18 uh, cycles twice, and then when I'm into the limbs, when I get like through that, I start to, I, I get a retch, you know? I start to retch. Retch is like, <coughs> you know, like okay. this. And I, I was saying that before, I was saying that group the other night before, and I've said it before it, it, on retreats that I, I used to do, I've done a good number of um, um, holotropic breath workshops, which is a little bit like Ruchen. But sometimes mm -hmm. in them, it triggers, it triggers that retch, you know? And I might be retching for 5, 10, 15 minutes, you know? And it's not like you, you don't vomit, you know, like the contents of your stomach don't come up or anything, but you cough up a lot of kind of spew here, you know. And um, it seems to be, uh, you know, I hold a lot of emotion or trauma right here, like, you know. Mm, mm. And uh, the AFAM seem to be bringing that up, you know. That's mm. more, I'd say in the last month, maybe I've started to notice that, you know. Hmm. Um, well, definitely, I didn't, I hadn't noticed it before um, the April uh, retreat. So, so since then, anyway. So that's whatever um, six weeks ago, or probably nearly two months ago now. Um, so, just wondering, yeah, your kind of thoughts on that, or if you've experienced that, or if anyone else has experienced it, or you know, I think maybe Liz has some kind of experience on it, maybe. But um, yeah. Uh, and uh, but but the thing is, like then it, it, I kind of you know start to retch and I stop saying the avams, you know. But then if I try to continue saying them, <laughs> the, the retch comes back, and it, it's not like that. I'm afraid of it or or that, you know, because I kind of um I have you know certain understanding that I think it's you know whatever it is, my body holding stuff, you know. Mm. But if, if I continue, then I have to let that continue its process for you know, five, 10, 15 minutes, maybe, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. But do, do you practice Roshan separately? 
I don't actually know. Okay. No. It yeah. might be a good idea to do some yeah. short sessions. Yeah, yeah. A couple of times a week or daily if you have a chance. That yeah. way you get it you get it out of your system quicker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that's very normal, you know. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes, you know, different kinds of can be breathing related like like that or um you know different kinds of I'm talking about different kinds of Ruchen experiences that one can have during Ruchen practice or during tantric practice. Can be some kind of you know different breathing patterns that you know you hit the practice hits some uh, kind of a pocket in your subconscious mind and that's what causes it. Breathing like <laughs> For example, like that, and it, you know, releases and it lasts days or weeks, and then it then it's done, or can be, you know, some kind of twitching of the body, you know, shaking of the body. That's very common, also, not only in tantric practice, but in all kinds of practices. You know, mm. we have a couple of um, Russian videos on our YouTube channel. And there's like every week there is somebody commenting there that, you know, oh my God, I have the same kind of shaking happening, you know, whether they practice meditation or not. Some people don't even practice anything and they just shake, you know. Um, so it's very, very, very common for people to have, have this, uh, well, trauma release is a good word. Yeah. Um, you know. There is this American psychologist called David Berselli. He uh, came out with um, a method method that is called trauma release exercises (TRE). There's probably a TRE group in, in you know in most cities, including the one where you live at. And um, so it's it's very common for people to have this trauma releasing uh, shakes and you know breathings pantings and you know crying sometimes laughing very very common mm -hmm. but um, i have to say that ruchen like it's understood understood in buddhist tantra and chokchen you know ruchen is actually like if we look at the traditional chokchen in tibet ruchen is one of the preliminaries classical preliminaries so uh, you know, it goes farther than TRE goes because it's always with Buddhist practice the 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 reason for all kinds of practices is to know ourselves as Buddhas. So Roshen is always practiced from not only to release traumas but to really be aware. You know, if it's physical shaking like this for example you're just you're just being aware of it from the inside staying with it letting the body shake letting it twitch whatever it does mm -hmm. and just being aware of it um, so what i'm what i'm saying is that like ruchen in comparison to tre it's a uh, uh, well like all chokchen practice you first have that natural state as the starting point. Starting point, ending point, and in the middle also, <laughs> along the way also. But it's good. It's good, Connor. Yeah. Just just stick with it. Go ahead, Liz. Hey, Kim, that retching, I thought, well, sorry, I don't know. I don't, it's not, not from my lungs it's like it's like i want to puke you know it's like ah i see i see okay that's the same and that, yeah 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 it's the same what was the name of the guy david what what was his last name david berselli b-e-r-c-e-l-i berselli is that like I just can't do Roshan. I, for me, like letting go of control of my body is just impossible. Why? Um, 
because I've been controlling it for so long, Kim, that <laughs> I just, I mean, I can do, I can do yoga, I can do anything, but this Ruchen is like, let go of control and I can't do that. But, do, you have, do, you have sleep, do you have sleep problems? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Do you have problems falling asleep? Not falling asleep. I have problems staying in a contented night's sleep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, well, the reason why I'm asking is because, you know, when you, you don't have problems falling asleep, so there you are letting go of the control, aren't you? For a moment. No, I'm just letting it come. It just, it just comes. Just like the natural state comes. It's like, it feels like the boat going into the water that Joe was talking about. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. But with Ruchan, it feels like you have to just lose control of your body. And, and I can't do that. But does TRE, is that like a lead up to it? <laughs> Would they teach you how to do that? <laughs> uh, yes, they do that. But um, uh, so one thing that people need to understand about Ruchen, we are not practicing Ruchen on this weekend retreat because you know you can do it through the video. Uh, so I understand there are people here who have never never done it and don't might not understand what we are talking about, but. Uh, Nevertheless, so Ruchen, like none of the practices we do, they are not, you know, you're not, like I said, that clear-minded, soft, grounded, basic awareness is always there. And it is from that experience that you kind of slip into it, let your just let your body begin to release tensions in whatever physical ways or breathing ways it, it wants to release. So it has nothing to do with going to a trance state or losing control. It's not like that. This is Buddhist practice, uh, not shamanic practice or uh, something like that, not, not a trance practice. So remember that. Uh, it's nothing like you know you you know you start going into a some kind of weird state and uh, experiencing weird things. Sure, there is a mystical side to Ruchen, a strong mystical side. Especially if we, you know, like I said, that some, you you might start doing mudra spontaneously, like something like this. Uh, there is a mystical that side to it. Controlled to me. That movement seems quite controlled to me. It seems quite controlled. That seems quite controlled. Whereas what I've experienced of Rushan at retreats is like <laughs> it's actually it's quite intimidating to hear people letting their noises just go and you know, it's quite loud and and it's it seems kind of weird to me I you know I don't know maybe it's just me <laughs> sorry it doesn't it, it's people aren't doing this people are doing kind of yeah. that yeah but you have to do that until you get to this <laughs> okay. and, and there's an explanation for that <laughs> uh, like a uh, samsara look samsara is chaotic Self is chaotic. Self is not beautiful and composed and poetic and beautiful. Mm. Self is mess, and it's that mess that we are allowing to release itself through Ruchen. That might be, you know, sometimes people cry, sometimes they laugh, sometimes they shout and yell, but it's, it's always having that basic recognition of natural state. Uh, that we are doing it. So uh, that's just how it is, you know. If you go to TRE sessions, 
you will see, you know, sometimes I've been kind of tenderly scolding our Sangha on retreats that, you know, if you, if you do something like this, oh, I'm releasing so much tensions, ah, it's releasing my traumas, it's nonsense, you're just wasting your time if you can't really let go and let it, let the pain come out just like it needs to come out. So I've, I've sometimes been, you know, tenderly scolding, but if you go to TRE groups, they all are all over the place, you know, and, and you know, there's a lot of uh, materials by David Berselli, videos and books and whatnot. And that stuff works, you know, he has been working with like a, like a um, child soldiers, African children who have been soldiers and people like this. So it's hardcore psychological practice. And it works. Thank you. Yeah, just uh, to add that if you listen, if you're into rock music or anything like that, just when you're alone at home, turn the volume to 11 and then just let it go. And that's, uh, yeah. Or if you can head back to a classical music also, or jazz, free jazz, that's, that works also. What did you say? Greek jazz? Free. Free, free jazz, like total chaotic. <laughs> I, was, I was hammering a, a cushion the other day, and I tell you, it was so good. <laughs> like, oh. There you have it. Yeah. It's like... I, it was like I hadn't been angry in so long that to be angry at the cushion was just mm. what I needed to scream. So I need that type of music, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> and it's safe. Yeah. It's safe. It just feels so strange to be angry. It's like... I suppose if you hold it for so long, it's like you forget how it feels. <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and I, I've had, you know, many people come to me that come to me and say that, you know, it feels so weird to shout syllables. It, it feels weird to just shout. Because <laughs> people, people are not used to it, you know. We are told to sh be quiet and shut up, yeah. you know. And be good. Yeah. Isn't there also the option of um, sort of uh, hyperactive, spontaneous dance? Like for Irish people with weird karma, they, they use dance, like very fast, hyperactive Irish dancing. Mm. It, that could be an option for Liz if she wants to get a few tips from Manus, she, she, she might be able to use the dancing option, as as well as, you know. Get Oogie's music for that, Luke. Yeah, yeah. Get Oogie. You could rent out Oogie um, with his pipe, and um, you could try that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Try Drake with the Tusi slide. <laughs> but I kind of feel that Luke, that I have this mystical experience, kind of a vision forming right now, that it kind of feels like that spirit of free spirit of dancing is taking an embodiment in your body you know just let it out look just let it out <laughs> <Come in. laughs> okay let's sit a little bit uh, we have <laughs> About 15 minutes until break, so let's sit.
as Buddhas, we know we don't need any blessings. As Buddhas, we are the very source of blessings. As samsaric beings, it's the opposite, the exact opposite. sitting fresh as if we forgot about our story, forgot about our identity, personal traits, problems, issues, just fresh. new Feel how good your body feels like. Feel how good your breathing feels like. Feel how good you feel like.
Isn't that interesting what I said a few minutes ago about ourselves as Buddhas being the source, the origin of blessings? That's a strong and strongly empowering fact. Very powerful. Full of love, full of healing power. radiating soft but clear light like the full moon Let's chant a dedication of merit. <clears throat> Inhale. May all beings receive my accumulated merit. I dedicate the merit to the refuge and to all sentient
Jai Hans.